Hi, it's Mark from Baylinks, and today I'm going to speak to you about changing our hydraulic filter, the importance of uh, what kind of intervals we should be looking at this. So on your filter normally it's marked that after the first 50 hours from installation that they should be changed, thereafter every 250 hours. Uh, if you can keep on top of this then you're going to keep your oil in the best possible condition. Uh, to change them it's like changing any filter, literally we're going to try and take it off. Um, we sometimes we'll need a filter remover because um, after a while of heating and cooling they tend to get a little bit tight on there but just to show you on an actual filter housing and a filter here it's incredibly simple that we have an internal thread and that's literally going to screw on there and that'll just wind all the way up to the top And that's our filter put on. Obviously, if we were taking it off, it's just the reverse of that. Uh, so what should we be looking for when we're changing the filter? Uh, it'd be ideal to look at the quality of our oil. Uh, normally, we're using Dextron 3 in these mixers, and that should be a nice, vibrant red colour. If that starts to get cloudy or milky, or you see uh, too many particles, uh, of debris in, you, in your oil, then it's going to be worth looking at doing a full oil change. Uh, but if your oil looks good, you'd be as good to just change your filter and then you're good to go again. Uh, I would recommend topping your filter up so you're not going to lose too much oil by doing it before putting it on. And also you've got a rubber seal that goes into your housing and uh, make sure that that oil, uh, that seal is oiled uh, so you're going to get a good seal when your new filter goes on. We always have plenty of these on the shelf in the stores. So make sure that you have a minimum of one per truck and then you're ready to change whenever you need to do.